Hello and welcome to my craft fair pre video. I don't know what I'm going to be calling this, um, but this is kind of how I prepare, I guess, for a craft fair. This is my first one of 2023 and actually my second ever craft fair as my own small business. Um, so what people may not know is that growing up, my grandma had her own small business called Annie's Attic. Um, and she did lots of wonderful, amazing different crafts. Um, and in lockdown, I really got into crochet and I decided I wanted to follow that and turn it into a small business as well as more than just a hobby um, and to do alongside like my nine to five. Um, and when I was coming up with a name, I decided to call myself Abby's Attic Designs, um, kind of taking on from her. Um, and as a child, I spent many, many weekends helping her out at different craft fairs. So I... <laughs> have grown up kind of in this world and in this environment um and so today it's currently Friday evening and on Sunday I am doing a craft fair at this lovely building called Shaw House where I live um and I'm very excited to be doing that I went to their Christmas one as a buyer um and I'm really excited to be there for their spring I think it's like a craft and food fair um, so it's very, very exciting. And I recently got in from visiting my grandma and she very kindly gave me loads of her old craft supplies that she no longer uses, which included some absolutely wonderful bags. So my plan for this evening is to try and get those bags stamped and also to print all of my pricing off. And maybe if I have time to do another table mock-up, I don't actually have a table at present. Um, my grandma does have one that I'm more than welcome to borrow if I need to. Um, but where I'm going, they are providing everyone with a table and chairs, so I don't have one that I need to put up, and I live in a very small one-bedroom flat, so space is a little bit of an issue, which is why I don't keep a table here. Um, so I tend to just plan it out on the floor with a tablecloth that I'll be using, um, which does need an iron actually before Sunday, so it's probably a good idea to get it out and also get that done. So I thought I would take you along for the journey. I see a lot of these for people who are American and a lot of like stationery and print videos, but not many for people who do more fiber or like um, crochet specifically. Um, so I thought it'd be really fun to kind of do a UK based one and to see what it looks like as someone who doesn't do this full time either. I will catch up with you in a bit and you're probably gonna enjoy a few montages until then. So I've just grabbed these out of the printer. Um, I print these on paper and then I have some actual like sturdy cardboard that I pop them on um, to make them into signs. And it just means I can easily take these off and put other bits onto that cardboard when I change my mind on what goes on them. Um, and I just find that that works better for me. Um, so these are signs and then we have pricing cards behind which fit onto these really cute little cards that I have. But whilst I'm here, I thought I would show you this setup. It's a little bit of a mess of course ahead of Sunday um, and the hoover normally lives behind here but it's just a bit of a mess so we're gonna ignore that in here I tend to store some of the bits that you see out currently so down here I have a crate full of my cards and mystery bags are ready to go no idea where this bag has come from or why it's on the floor I've just come back from being away for a week and it just seems to have mysteriously appeared in this time down here I have packaging and bags and these are my old ones I had from my grandma ages ago but they don't really fit my brand colors so i'm thinking of giving these to my mum um to store where she has bigger storage and i know she was looking for them the other day and hadn't realized i'd stolen them from her um so i think i'm gonna give her these back and then keep the new ones that i have which i'm very excited about um we have some bunting some trays some frames and some unfinished projects in here from earlier in the year and then up here i have like all of my different keychains my table stuff and then a few other props there and then it's also just where my candles live this is other bits for the table and there are packaging materials behind here and this is just a present from a friend i brought back in june last year and it's currently april well april tomorrow and i still haven't given it to her so it's out as a visual reminder and this is my drink that i just picked up because i am very very thirsty from all of my running about today but we are going to go to the guillotine now and get these cut and also find my stamp and start get stamping So 
So as you can see on this one, my board is slightly wider than the pricing sign. Um, I could have sworn I ordered these the right size, obviously I didn't. Um, and I was trying to use just one bit of paper instead of two, whereas if I just used two, I could have made a bigger border. So that's on me. So I'm just going to trim these edges off. This board is a bit too thick to go through the guillotine. Um, I just have a cheap paper one because I mostly work with just paper. Um, so I'm now going to spend some time trimming this down. I am now going to move on to my small pricing cards. I either have these displayed on it will stands next to the product or I take them on top of like the crate or something that they're kind of in um, just so it's easy for people to see. Um, a lot of my products are key rings or more decorative items so just to be clear to people that they aren't toys and um, because the safety eyes aren't suitable for young children um, I just like to make that clear um, on my stool so I have a few of those. I have some from last time um, so I'm probably not going to cut these ones up properly and stick them on. Um, I just printed these off a spare so I can take them with me in case some get lost on the day um, and then I'll just sort them out whilst I'm there. Um, but yes, I believe this is most of the pricing. Um, some items are priced on the bigger pricing signs like my bunting and cards. Um, so this should cover everything else. Um, and of course, when I do my stand um, mock-up, I'm looking at the time and it's probably going to be tomorrow um, that I get it done. But that's perfectly okay with me. It depends how late I feel like staying up tonight. Um, I will notice what's missing. I already know I want to do one more um, for one of my cards, but I'm not sure if that's going to be handwritten um, just because of the size I need it to be. It's probably going to be hard to get the right font, so I might just handwrite this one. Um, but I'm sure I'll show you what I'm talking about later on because I have a few of them I actually need to print. So now I'm just going to cut these up and then stick them onto these little kind of business size cards, card that I have. Um, they are great for writing thank you notes in orders um, and before I had business cards I used to just use my stamp on them um, and so they're kind of normal card on one side and then like shiny card on the other so they're very good for whatever you need and if for some reason any pricing is wrong I also take these along just so I can hand write some on the day too. So I've just finished cutting all of these out and sticking them onto their little cards and I'm so happy of how they've turned out. Um, I know some people probably would rather cut this round so it fits perfectly but I quite like having the pop of colour um, and a slight rounded edge. It's just how I prefer it to go um, but everyone is each their own and how they like things but for me this is what works for me and this is what I like. Um, I have a few left over from last time where I haven't changed pricing um, so that's why there isn't everything here that you will then probably later on see um, but I think these are all of the ones that I do need for now. So what I will be making because I don't think my description earlier was good so I'm probably going to scrap that but we're now moving on to some Easter cards as I made these whilst I was at my boyfriend's. Um, so I've made the rabbits and these cards are really fun because you can then take this rabbit off and use it as an Easter decoration which I think is adorable. Um, and so I do want to make a little sign to clip on the front of the cards to say I can then be used as a decoration um, just so people know why there's like a bit of string on the cards. But this is what they kind of look like finished. I have two designs, one that says Happy Easter and one that says Happy Spring. Um, and they all come with a stamp of my designs, um, my designs, my brand name on the back. Um, and I have one of these already as Happy Easter. I've also got other colours. So I just need to do one more blue happy Easter and then two blue happy springs. And I also have one card that I did right before I left. I had a very busy week last week um, to stay at my boyfriend's for a bit because he lives closer to where I work. Um, and that is just missing my brand stamp. So once I've got all of this out, I'm going to get that done. And I think I might start stamping a few bags. 
Um, I think I'm only going to stamp the brown proper bags and then just the little gift bags, probably leave them plain um, and just make sure that obviously I put a business card in each one. I think that's my plan for now. I might take the stamp with me, which I've done before. And then while I'm there, I can stamp a few bags in some quiet time. Um, but for right now, I'm going to focus on getting these cards done and then putting them in their little bags as well. So I think I am going to just stamp maybe most of this pile of bags, maybe not all of them. I feel like there's probably more here than I'm imagining with my logo stamp, um, which just says thank you for supporting this small business and then my name to Abby's Attic Designs. Um, I actually ordered this off a small business on Etsy. Um, let me know if you want the link um, and I'll happily put that down below. Um, so I'm just going to stamp these. So I just finished stamping 15, well I actually did 17 of these bags, there are 15 ready to go and I'll be happy if I sell 15 things to fill these bags, like 15 sales. This was one of them and then I realised it only had one handle um, and it was a perfect stamp as well, um, but unfortunately that one didn't count. And this was the first one that I did trying to stamp it on the pile of other bags which was a really silly idea and of course it didn't work out um and i'm just gonna be honest and show you all the mishaps and also so hopefully you don't make the same problems that i have same problems same mistakes but this is my stack of 15 and i am thinking i do want to do a few of the colorful bags so i think i might do those now um just so i have a few for people who want littler things um and then i'm probably gonna wrap up for the night and go to bed so these are the super cute pink kind of gingham bags that my grandma gave me she would get a lot of these i think in america um when she used to go um and also some from a shop that doesn't exist anymore in the uk um and she used to buy loads and loads and she just has them and she can't store them anymore because she also lives in a small bungalow um and she needs a storage for other things so she wants to give them to me to continue to use um i will say whilst i know i'm very lucky and kind of privileged to have been given these supplies I do account for in my pricing if I had to buy these um, and some people would say maybe that's profit but I just want the business to be sustainable and at some point I will have to buy more supplies and I want to keep being able to purchase things that are of good quality um, so I do account for the fact of the pricing of these supplies um, but I do price it on what she would have paid at the time um, just to keep it accurate and then we'll next time I buy some do them to um, Inflation. I can't think of what I should say, but so it matches the current pricing. I am in love with how I keep these bags look with the stamp on them. I've done some in the middle and some lower, depending on how much I will fold it over. I haven't counted how many there are. I did loads. Um, I imagine there's at least 20 here. But yes, I am in love with how cute these bags are and i think i'm going to stop here for the night um and pick it all back up tomorrow morning i also did some portrait footage um so i stopped filming and just did some footage of the other bits i was doing so i can make some uh, tiktoks and reels so i think once i'm in my pajamas i'm ready for bed and have got all my stuff sorted um i'm probably going to start editing those so i can put those up um kind of like live what i'm doing um but yes i will catch you all in the morning Happy Saturday, this is day two of my market prep and tomorrow is the actual market. Um, I have, uh, I would say good morning, it's actually two o'clock in the afternoon. I had a little bit of a lie in just because I've had a very long and hectic week, um, but I was editing reels and stuff so I 
just being a bit lazy really in bed um and I had some house stuff to do like washing I broke the toilet seat so I fixed that again I have just laid out my tablecloth on the floor um I actually don't have a typical tablecloth I have a I think it's a double it could be a king sized sheet not a fitted sheet just like a normal bed sheet um and I really like the quality of it and the thickness because you can never see the table underneath um and this is just something that worked best for me I picked this up in a charity shop for a couple of pound um and I think it's a really good tip if you're just getting started and tablecloths can be expensive and finding ones that fit um so yeah I literally just went into my charity shop and managed to find this for a couple of pound which was amazing um and I have also made a I don't know what to call it like a table runner um and so I got some like iron on fabric I guess um that I printed my logo onto and then this is just a um pillowcase in pink um that then I'm going to put down the center so I'm just going to pop that on both of these do need a bit of an iron before tomorrow um but there was no point because it all has to be folded to fit on the floor because obviously it would fit over the whole table but the floor is just 2d um on doing that bit first my phone just very rudely interrupted me about a software update whilst i was trying to tell you so yes i've made a table runner and i'm going to iron it all um and the table tablecloth for tomorrow and i've brought up my bags like moving stuff um so after i've done this last table setup i well mock-up setup i can then start packing stuff away properly um i currently use a shopping trolley which i bought for when i moved in this flat um and it's actually come more in handy for craft first than actual food shopping um and then just a few like big shopping bags um because some of the other stuff is kind of already in boxes it would just be easier to move it in bags um and i'm very lucky i've got my mum helping me so i'm hoping we can just do it in two trips to the car and it should be really done quickly and easy we might even get it done in one um it just depends sorry my like little extender bit of my sofa is in the way but this is what i mean about the table runner with the pillowcase so obviously that is the edge of the table and that will hang down um and it fits pretty much the length of the table and i have boxes that will go here anyway so you won't see it doesn't fully fit um but i think it's really cute and just adds a little bit of pink which is kind of my brand colors in to the table so i have just finished setting up there are a few things i've noticed which is why it's so good to do multiple setups this is the second time i have done this um as you can see i have this frame which i have actually drilled in these little hooks and then added the ribbon myself um to then be able to display my bunting i'm not quite sure what's happening to this bunny here he's clearly not very happy bless him um and i've added on my bunting pricing above this um and most of these i have multiples of i'm actually not realized i've missed to put one thing out there are supposed to be some heart bunting going along here I remember to do that but that is supposed to be there I was like there's only four I have five um I have multiples of all of these so most of the time I will just pass one that I have in this box from behind people over um and then once I'm down if I start setting out I will then start taking them off here which is no big deal that's why there's a wig out because my heart bunting isn't there we then got my frames with their pricing my flower keychains with their pricing it looks really hard to see this but it's because it's on the floor whereas if you think people will actually be on the table it will be a lot higher we then have my various greetings cards and mystery bags and so the pricing is just up there because it's a nice clear sign i'm struggling to get it straight but i will make sure i do that on the day as we move over here we have my bees i definitely have made three of these blueberry bees cannot find the third one so i will also definitely be making at least one more of those if not maybe three more because I have at least five of all of the others um so I might just make that to make it even and the B pricing is down here we're on the postcards on display in the back of this box and then up here for height as you can see I'm trying to use varying heights across my display and now I'm going to walk over here we have my tea bags which actually double up as bookmarks as well as just really cute decor and you can also buy a postcard to go with those there's some more storage of spare bits behind there and other pricing bits um and then we also have my worry rails and just some fluffy octopi as well and then also my zettle card reader sign just to tell people i do accept card um and then down here we have a few just random other keychains there's a dinosaur that i made for fun the other day 
um, a baby Yoda and then these cute little sausage dogs which match this sausage, uh, sausage dog bunting um, because these are all kind of various they're not part of like a big collection I'm just going to do individual pricing on them a bit like I did when I first did this sunflower bee which has her name on it which is sunny the sunflower bee I think I'm going to do it one for each of the fruit and flower bees at the front just so people know if they want to take those ones that's perfectly fine but I'd probably encourage them to take one of these ones from the back um so I'm just going to get some little pricing for these done on some tags um but I'm probably going to pack everything away whilst I'm doing that but I'm very happy with how this has turned out there is some space left behind here like for my cash box bunting spares and then my ipad and the bags can also then go along here um they're all currently charging which is why I haven't added them to the setup but I know there is more than enough room for them there and yes I'm very very happy with how this has turned out so now I'm gonna start packing it all away into all my bags and hopefully not lose any more bees because there is definitely three of those but who knows so I thought I would just show you the little price tags that I did for these individual items in the dream world I would have really cute price tags that match everything but it's kind of my first time experimenting doing separately kind of individually priced items that maybe aren't part of a bigger collection um so it's kind of just a test and I think next time I would just get some pink ones um so that they match and maybe just get like a daisy sticker to add to them um but I thought it might be useful to show some of you what I package things into to pop them in my storage stuff so I actually tend to use the Ikea Istad bags I absolutely love these bags always have always will um one thing that I do love is that they are actually made of sugarcane um so they're not technically plastic bags um and I reuse the same ones again and again for my craft fairs but it means when I am done they are actually quite environmentally friendly and I just find this really easy because I just bundled together all the like stuff so I have one of the bees one for the tea bags one for the worry whales um and it just means when I'm setting up I know exactly what is where um they're see-through and it's just so easy so these are all miscellaneous I'm hoping that we're gonna fit into one little bag um and then I will be ironing and I'm sure you'll end up with a montage video of that So this is Abby from the future, hello. This is about a week after my craft fair. I never ended the video um, and I will insert some pictures now or just after this clip. Um, of what it looked like on the day. It went pretty well. Um, I made back my table money and a little bit extra, which was great. One of my mum's friends came along and surprised us, which was lovely. Um, so all in all, it was a really good day and I really want to try out their Christmas market and so now I know how it works and the feel of things. It was really good. I think people are still conscious with their spending because of the cost of living crisis and with it just being the beginning of like the Easter holidays. It was a lot of like families with younger kids. Um, so maybe not fully my clientele, but more at Christmas it would be from what I remember when I was shopping there um, and they were running kids activities on the day so I think that kind of maybe influenced who was there a little bit more um, but it was definitely a good day and I really enjoyed it and compared to my first craft fair, craft show, craft market, whatever you want to call it um, that I did I really preferred this table set up and it felt a lot more professional and better one of the things I just needed to do was be a bit more confident in speaking to people and talking about my products and who I am. But I have lots of ideas for future shows and markets um, and I feel like I'm more confident now in speaking to people. It's just been a bit too long I think in between things and not knowing how to but I definitely got swung of it at the end. I just had to have been there a bit earlier in the morning I think to get a few more sales up um, but I definitely know what I want to do in the future. So yeah, that's it for today. Let me know if you want to see more of this or more behind the scenes or maybe some of my top tips um, because I'd really like to do a few more videos because I think they're really fun. Bye!